Mansung Kwanta, the capital of Amansi West, a district in the Ashanti region, is about 72 kilometers from the capital, Kumasi. The 26,000 population of the area has farming at its main occupation. In communities like Trapiasi, in Patuem, Pichi No. 1, in Nyinsa and Beponcheng, tilling the land is a major employer of many. Roads are in bad condition and so every person who travels on these roads carries with him or her a souvenir. The almost red colored hair and clothing tells of the horrendous journey one has to go through in Mansung Kwanta. Residents told me drivers seldom ply the route which was once the main route to Obuasi. They explained frequent visits to mechanics and a drain on the Amiga incomes is a headache. <laughs> Yet there mupa, missing foot of a whoop rat, yet I call winter men, yes, eh, just say. A foot on qua, a diatin, jam cray, a home foot rosa, oh, come a big cra, who shall tell you for me, same way, men and why I say, eh, you know. And yes, Ram, some my bad, yeah, some baby boy, a stram, say, Mom, why, ye be beyond your cream. I draw about to answer so dear, ye two about half, I had two about, eh, waha. Ye are quite no so, who move you, your mind, yammer, ye be in fear me and sassy in fear, nanny. Pemus, I'm ready. One interesting thing I also noted was students who have closed from school, trekking or coming to their various homes on foot. But imagine in a dispensation where a murder and then criminology has become the order of the day. What happens to kids that ply such routes? Coming down here, I met one kid who says she's going to uh, Biponcheng, which has been corrupted um, uh, to Bobonchen already. Um, she's been trekking about two kilometers before we met her. And then my team and I decided to support her up to this point where our vehicle cannot commute us to her home. So from here, we are doing it on foot. So join us as she leads us to her home. From here, we journeyed on to her home after going through some cocoa farms. We arrived here in Felicia's home. Unfortunately, we met the absence of her parents. But now that she's here, or after school, she's back home. What happens? What is she going to do? How will she eat? This is the plight of an eight-year-old in basic one. She's going to journey back from here to Chopiase, which is about two towns uh, back to where we were coming from, to fetch water for the family. Mind you, she hasn't eaten. She doesn't know the whereabouts of the mother. She perhaps told her, or she, from her, according to her, the mother told her she'll be leaving for town. The father has also gone to some farms elsewhere so she's alone in this forest so to speak and then she's going to fetch water for the family with an empty stomach felicia also has some packed cooking utensils awaiting washing she needed water and i had to accompany her to the only source of water to help her we carried along gallons looking at the torturous journey she will go through only to carry home one gallon of water. We finally arrived at the only source of potable water. 
This is what residents of Trapiasi and its surrounding communities rely on for water. In a queue, we waited for our turn, and after a long wait, it was our turn to fill our gallons. I lent a helping hand when I saw Felicia was getting tired. My team and I decided to fetch two gallons of water. Not because we are in need of water, but it is because if either we fetch these two gallons of water or little Felicia is going to journey ten times, the journey back home was going to be tough. After the Herculean task, we needed to fill our bellies and the quickest we could get was fresh cocoa beans. In all the back and forth, one thing that caught my attention was the unavailability of electricity in Mansum Quanta. There are light poles wired but have no power. Residents expressed their displeasure at the level of development in Mansung Quanta and how it is affecting their lives. Because I'm going to touch light in the city. Touch light. Touch light. Touch light. I'm going to touch the squad. I'm going ti <laughs> About to party, a drusuna, a basibia, a almost ambaha, a crayon tuaba. El Bintachi. Oh, Baba, ye baba, ye baba tuaba no baha. So, Baba, ye quano, lighting on so so. What your honour, Nyama, at your quiet bam, so be sisabli. Ye who no shay, and one is all my day wires and abbey gusso. Tana had to a bachet and a cray year pan, some lanty or crumma quick quack and canyon crab, how crown could depend between your be the other day. I business be how we knew three years and can like to a quack a bit may be a shop and was a bit in the abo ID. Said the bayer, Cabia be so much on bank and a mayen, contact of bank and yanny and who the bear is was a sour yes or the core. I am crazy, you are the acronym, you are a woman, you are canyon, you are the same. She soon will say, eh, more be. The Madaroma, canyon, or dear, and the quan, or dear, what I will, my mammy, my boy, Barbara. The residents have spoken, but my curious mind will not rest. I decided to hang around till nightfall. Then I can better appreciate the effect of the unavailability of electricity. Sooner than later, the night drew near. It's barely 30 minutes past 6 p.m. or 1800 GMT. This is Chapiasi with adjoining communities like Enyensa, Bipwasi, Amwako, Nkwanta, here in Manso Nkwanta district. As if their plight with bad roads and portable water is not enough, this is how the towns or the various communities look like at night. Apart from the lighting from my camera, there is no source of lighting in this community. Students here would have to use torch to go through their lessons at night or get their homeworks done. These students are also going to compete with students in the capital for their final examination or the basic education certificate examination. What becomes of the future of children in these communities? What are authorities doing to provide the basic social amenities for these people? For Metro News, Shadrach Odami Ejari. Ashanti region.